Hello friends, this is Raj Sastri from Raj Option Trading. Today is July 25th, 2021. I want to cover top insider buys and sells. So with that, let's look at major news, insider buys and sells, and also review the charts and spot good entry points. So with that, what is insider buying and selling? Typically, when an insider is buying, it's seen as a positive sign that execs believe the stock will raise in the future. Conversely, when insiders are selling, that's seen as execs believe company stock may underperform in future. Even though this is a definition by Investopedia, we will look at where the stock is at, how with the fundamentals of the company and take it from there. And when the insiders are selling, if the fundamentals are good, insiders may be selling for various reasons. Maybe there's a lockup expiration. Maybe they, are, they want to sell for their personal reasons. We will look and see if the fundamentals are good, is it a good entry points, and you might buy instead of selling at that point. So with that, let's uh, jump in and look at major news. From a major news perspective, Apartment Investment AIV, this company booted, uh, this company was booted from Tesla, um, you know, from S&P 500. So it may be okay to buy this company. A company has been doing nicely. And then we got Ironwood Pharmaceuticals, IRWD. It's been doing great. It's got some debt. Uh, it can easily manage its debt. Then we got um, uh, Nuvin Strategies here, Nuvin Credit Strategies. This may be better than Barnes, according to Barons.com. We got two under the radar stocks here, Bed Bath and Beyond, BBBY, and Lucera Health, LHDX. We got Koti. Koti was uh, left for dead a while ago. Now the company is doing great. We'll see if the company is worth buying at this time. And then we got uh, Asana. It's really trying to think about future of work. Looks like they are reimagining the meetings with the Zoom app. It's a great company. I like, like this company. And then we got five mid-cap healthcare stocks here. Ionis, XNCR, IGMS, Zyme, and Editas. And we'll look at these companies. I think many of these companies are okay to buy at these levels. And we'll look at some of these and take it from there. And then we got new residential investment, NRZ. Motley Fool is wondering, wondering where this stock will be in three years. We got a great mid, midstream stock here, Enterprise Product Partners. Very steady eddy with the oil price stabilizing and going up. We'll see if this is a good company to own. And then we've got Monday.com and uh, Krispy Kreme here. We'll look at these companies and see if it's uh, doing okay and it's okay to buy. And we got Geo Group here. Looks like this company is flat as market sinks. We'll see if this company is also worth buying at these levels. So with that, here we got list of 25 top insider um, you know, buying stocks. So at the top, we got AIV. Apartment investment, $6.71 stock here. Insiders are buying their own company nicely. So what is insider transactions, you might wonder. So right now, if you see here, insiders own 1% of the company. So insiders have increased from this 1% by 151%. So it's going off of a lower base here, but they've increased their insiders holdings uh, from 1% by 151%. So that tells you insiders have conviction at this time. And institutions own a nice chunk of this company, 88%. That's a good sign. And we typically look at uh, the sales. How is the sales doing? Uh, from sales growth perspective, this company has got some sales growth in quarter over quarter. And as you scan through here, there is no gross margin at this time. And they don't have too much debt. That's a positive sign. RSI tells you, relative strength index RSI, that tells you stock is oversold. It's okay to buy at these levels. And as you scan through here, they have done nicely for one year, 72%. And they're down 13% from 52 week high. So it may be okay to buy slowly at this, these levels, given stock is down for one week and one month, trying to go up in the nearer term, which is uh, last Friday. And then we got Ironwood, it's a great uh, pharmaceutical company, biotech company, $13 stock. It's been doing nicely, $2 billion market cap. 
Uh, nice sales growth. I like this uh, sales growth here past five years as well as quarter over quarter and they got a uh, huge insider transactions inside of buying their own company and high short ratio that tells you this company can uh, stock can go up on any positive news and these shorts can get squeezed but from an entry point perspective relative strength index is telling you stock is a little bit pricey at these levels it's uh, over bought at these levels a little bit not too much so you should buy uh, slowly here don't buy a lot at the same time uh, there may be a uh, you know time uh, this stock may pull back you can buy more it's okay to buy a small position here nice gross margin as you can see here stock has been doing up in one day one week all the way to one year and stock is just down two percent from 52 week high that's why you know it's okay to wait for a small pullback before you buy this company and then we got a couple more you can scan through this quickly um, and i think uh, many of these are good as usual look for sales growth as you see greens in the sales growth now that's those are the good ones you can look at and also look for gross margin look for positive double digit gross margin and look for nice growth um, uh, performance and also look for rsi rsi levels below 55 typically it's okay to buy but if it crosses 60 you have to buy slowly don't buy too much wait for pullbacks so with that let's uh, look at the charts here and see what we can buy as you see here aiv nice looking chart i love this right now there's a small pullback as you can see here and as you look at the stock price here six dollars 71 cents nice volume and um, uh, institutions are buying and stock has been sold off a little bit in last one week and one month i would buy some at these levels and hold it for a while we got iron wood here again nice looking chart stock is sold off a while ago back in march but now it's uh, come came back nicely so i would uh, wait for a small pullback here and then buy some iron wood we got jqc jqc is into um you know uh, as usual into interest rate area you got to be you know a little bit careful you don't make too much money with these type of stocks um, funds actually but you could buy on this weakness here wait for a little pullback you could buy here i'd say you know good good fund to own on the weakness but you will not make too much money because it's a fund uh, depends on the interest rates then we got LHDX, nice looking chart as you can see here, stock has dropped off drastically and as you look through here, LHDX, uh, $6.52 stock and um, as you scan through RSI is 45, that tells you it's okay to, sorry, 61, that tells you RSI is a little higher at this time, stock price is $7.98 um, and as you scan through PS ratio, price to sales ratio, a little expensive. Uh, which is okay you know in these type of stocks here and um, as you scan through stock is done nicely as you see here down 79 percent rsi 61 that tells you you can buy the stock at this level slowly and wait for a small pullback because stock has gone up nicely in the last couple of days or last couple of months even though it's down 79 percent so i would buy slowly and hold a nice position we got Koti here, left for dead a while ago, making a comeback as you can see here. Um, and as you look, look here, Koti, um, right now RSI is 49 and they've done, you know, from a sales growth perspective, there is nothing much, it's negative a quarter over quarter. I would, you know, wait a little bit here. Uh, if you want to buy, buy a small, you know, tracking position here, don't buy too much. Uh, given that its sales growth is not so great, I would um, a little, be a little bit careful here. Then we got Asana. It's a great stock. Has done very nicely, as you can see here. Uh, it's all, it also has a partner, partnership with Zoom, as you know, to reimagine the meetings. I would uh, look at this stock here. Right now, RSI is 71. Stock has done great in past six months. Any weakness like we had on Friday, I would accumulate slowly and hold a nice position. This company will do great. Uh, next, we'll look at a couple more here. Editas, it's a great company uh, into uh, gene editing. 
I would uh, buy this company on the weakness here. Anytime gene editing, uh, you know, makes a comeback, this company will do great. Should have a little bit patience here. As you can see, your stock has been dropping off nicely. You know, went up a uh, nice pop when the gene editing made a splash last month. Then it kind of dropped off. I would buy this company slowly and hold a nice position. We got NRZ here, uh, residential, uh, as you can see here. Um, stock has dropped off drastically. I would buy a little bit into the weakness. As you see here, NRZ has got a higher debt to equity ratio. That tells you company has got a lot of uh, debt on its balance sheet. So you got to be a little careful. Um, and also, as you see here, sales growth is uh, not there right now. So that's, that's why if you want to buy, because uh, maybe you like um, you know this company, but buy slowly because uh, you might end up holding this company for a while. As you see here, stock has been dropping off. Uh, then we got EPD, Enterprise Product Partners. Um, as you scan through this company here, nice looking chart, you know, nice uh, chart, steady eddy type company. It's okay to buy on this uh, weakness here. This company will do great. As you see here, it's got a little bit higher debt to equity ratio, but completely manageable. Uh, then we got D nut Krispy Kreme uh, stock. You know, became IPO a while ago. It's been uh, selling off of late, but uh, it's okay to buy some into the weakness. Uh, don't expect expect uh, you know very high performance from this. There may be some ups and downs. This company was uh, you know um, in the stock market a while ago. It uh, got taken over by venture capital, I guess, private equity. Now it came back. So it's okay to own. I don't have high hopes for Krispy Kreme, but it might do okay. Then we got uh, Nero. Nero, as you can see, a $20 stock. Uh, stock has shot up nicely, as you see here. Now it's coming back. So stocks like Nero, I'll be a little bit careful. I'll, I'll wait for this to come back a little bit and then buy slowly. As you see here, Neuro has done great, um, you, know, you know, one week, one month, mainly because of this huge pop. I think this is a short squeeze. So you got to be careful and play the short squeeze game and buy when it's down and hold a small position and watch. Uh, next, we'll look at a couple more here. Um, LAZR, it's into EV, electric vehicle type market. Um, I think company is uh, not doing great off late as you see here, down, 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 down. And but on a positive note, insiders are buying in the company. Institutions are also buying this company. I think it's okay to buy slowly uh, as EV stocks make a comeback. This company will do great. I would uh, buy some with the you know with these insiders here. As you see here, performance perspective, in one year it's done 61%, but down 63% from 52 week high. And then we got CNP. I think this company also, you know, stock wise is okay. It uh, shows some ups and downs. So I would wait for a small pullback here and buy. As you scan through CNP here right now, uh, RSI is 52. It tells you it's okay to buy, you know, slowly and hold a small position here. Debt to equity ratio is a little high for me, but that's okay. It's done 25% in one year, down 4%. It's almost at 52 week high. That's why it's okay to wait for a small pullback. Then we got Holly Frontier, HFC, again in the energy space. As you scan through this here, uh, right now RSI is 33. Um, sales growth is not there. As there is a little bit 3% sales growth. That's why, you know, this is really into energy play. Uh, I think it may be okay to own a little bit, but uh, not too much. These energy stocks, they kind of, they're hostage to oil price. As oil goes up, up and down, these companies' stock price will also go up and down. Then we've got Ashford here. Ashford, as you scan through this, you know, company goes up and down drastically, went up all the way. Now it's down to earth. I think it's okay to buy into this weakness here, buy slowly. Uh, right now, completely oversold, as you see here, RSI is 30. Um, it may be okay to buy some. As you see here, stock has been down all the way from one day to one year, even if, you know down 78% from 52-week high. This is why you, know, you got to be a little bit careful here, especially given sales growth is negative. Um, there is a, a gross margin also is negative, as you can see here. 
So, you know, you are buying against the grains here. If you want to buy some, hold it because stock is showing, you know, movements up and down. You could do that. But really, fundamentals are not there, not there at this point. It's okay to buy because you're a contrarian. And then we got Fastly here. Fastly is uh, one of my, you know, favorite stocks. Uh, it's doing, you know, not so great of late as you see here. But showing some strength in last uh, couple months here. You know, I would buy this company slowly and hold a nice position. And you know, given insiders are buying it, institutions have got a nice position here. Um, and stock has been not so great uh, one day all the way to one year, down 64% from 52 week high. Nice gross margin though, 58%. I would buy this company slowly and hold a nice uh, position on the down days. We got a couple more here, uh, Exxon Mobil has to see a nice looking chart with the energy and oil coming back. This company is uh, doing okay. Nice dividend also. Um, as you scan through Exxon Mobil here, um, RSI is uh, 38, tells you stock is oversold and it's done 31% in uh, one year. I think it's okay to buy some uh, Exxon Mobil into uh, this weakness here. Then we got SPG, Simon Properties. As you scan through Simon Properties here, $124. I think malls are making a small comeback. Um, you know, as Delta virus uh, kind of goes uh, a little higher, this company might result in some temporary weakness. I would be buying slowly uh, into the temporary weakness. Right now, RSI is 45. Tells you uh, right now stock is oversold. Um, and it's done nicely for one year, 101%, especially because uh, during the COVID times, uh, stock got depressed. It's going off a lower comparison. That's why stock has done nice. Then we got CLR Continental. Continental is one of the better um, oil companies. I would uh, buy this company on the on weakness right now, as you see here, RSI is 46. Um, we got ET. O here, E2 open, uh, it's a software play here. Stock has been down drastically as you can see here. And uh, there is no sales growth as you can see a negative sales growth. And RSI is 39. And stock has done just 2% in whole one year and down 21%. So fundamentals are not great, but if you want to be a country and, and buy some, you could do that um, and hold it for a while. Now we look at major insider sales uh, from a news perspective. Uh, as you can see here, Graph Tech looks like uh, funds have been bullish on Graph Tech, ticker symbol EAF. Bumble, um, you know, Motley Fool is thinking it may be a ultimate all in stock. We got Zoom Info, one of my favorite stocks here. They have, they are, they have been recognized. One main holdings OMF, uh, they top the estimates, that's a good sign. Petco, Petco has been oversold of late. Um, insider monkeys wondering, is it, is it good time to buy? We got IR, uh, looks like earnings are expected to grow. We got Academy Sports, this company has been doing great of late. We'll see if it's good to buy at this time. We got uh, MAC, um, is it going to burn hedge funds? We'll find out. And we got L Brand. L Brand was also left for dead a while ago. Now company is doing a comeback with their uh, body works, and stock is really taking some, uh, you know, doing nicely of late. Baker Hughes, I think it's uh, showing some strength in the oil drilling. Uh, looks like rig counts are up, which is a good sign. Seagate topped the revenue estimates. We'll see if it's worth buying. So all these companies, um, you know, they've got insiders selling their own stock. We'll see if it's worth buying these companies. So this is the top 25 companies with the insiders selling. The company on the top here, Graph Tech, 100% insiders selling, as you can see here. Um, and it will be in a, it's in a descending order from there. You can also see how it's doing in one year performance perspective and how much is off from 52 week high. And as you can also look at the sales growth, I love the companies with the positive sales growth. I love the ones with double digit sales growth, but um, I would take positive. And also look at the gross margin. I think most of these companies have got, got nice gross margin, which is great. And then look at other areas like, you know, look for red here, like price to sales. Zoom info a little high, 
from a valuation perspective same is the story with the Vuzi, um docs doximity you know it's one of my favorite stocks here just became ipo this company can also do great and then we got a couple more here watch out for reds be a little bit careful and you see more greens are the good sign so with that let's look at some of these companies in a little, little more detail and we got here eaf graph tech as you scan through this company here down 25 percent done nicely for one year rsi is 37 there is a nice five-year sales growth as you can see here quarter over quarter negative and uh, in, insiders are selling there could be various reasons here could be lock up expiration could be personal reasons um, and institutions own nice chunk here so i would uh, look at this here and i would probably buy some of this eaf into the weakness given it's oversold and it's got a uh, you know nice gross margin as you can see here we got bumble here bumble is one of these dating online dating website i think the company will do great uh, going forward right now stock is a little bit showing some strength of strength of positive here uh, strength of bullishness i would look at uh, bumble um, as you scan through here rsi is 52 tells it's okay to enter a small position here I would probably you know buy a small tracking position watch this and buy more as it goes down and accumulate a nice position um, as you look at next one here zoom in for one of my favorite stocks a nice looking chart chart goes up and down not one way and as you scan through here um, zoom in for uh, price to sales perspective a little bit expensive um, nice sales growth. I love sales growth here 50% RSI 63 tells you hey, you know If you want to buy a little bit buy a little bit, but don't buy a lot wait for a small pullback and then buy more um, And as you scan through here nice gross margin I love softer gross margin and stocks has been doing great of late still down 11% I would wait for a small pullback and load up and buy more we got OMF, OMF nice looking chart here, uh, all the way going nicely upwards. And as you scan through here, um, RSI is 57. Um, they got a little bit high uh, debt on their balance sheet. Nice gross margin. Stock has been doing great. It's been a rocket ship all along. Just 3% down from 52 week high. I would probably buy a small position, wait for pullback and add. Looks like company does give you pullbacks, you know, once in a while. I would wait for a small pullback and buy this company. Then we got uh, Oof Petco. Petco looks like you know stock has been dropping off of late um, and showing some strength of uh, positive uh, bullishness here. I would uh, buy Petco into this weakness here. Right now, RSI is 47. That tells you you can buy this company uh, right here. And stock has been doing, not doing great in the nearer term in one week and one day it's going up. That tells you right now it's, uh, you know, right now it's bullish. And um, even though in the longer term it did not do well, now it's showing some signs of turnaround. Then we got IR. IR, as you can see here, stock has been wondering where to go. Um, it's in a trading range, of course. As you scan through here, RSI is um, uh, 52. That tells you, you know, be cautious, buy slowly. Um, um, 52 is, uh, you know, it's not too much. It's uh, still in the oversold territory. You could buy some on these pullbacks and hold for a while. This is also a steady eddy stock. You'll not uh, get burned by this company if you time and buy when it's a little bit down. Then we we'll look at uh, one more uh, page here. As you scan through ASO, Academy Sports doing nicely. Rocket ship, as you can see here. Right now, there is a small pullback here. As you scan through here, RSI is 45. That tells you you could uh, buy this company at this time. It's oversold, 15% short ratio. Any good news, stock can go up. It's down 66% from 52 week high. Done nicely for uh, six months. Some temporary weakness in one month. So this could be a good opportunity to buy some ASO and hold for a while. Then you got MAC. It's kind of a steady eddy type company. Went up all the way. Could be short squeeze scenario. Came back to earth. 
showing slowly in positive momentum here. As we scan through here, RSI is uh, 44, tells you it's okay to buy at this time, still oversold. And um, this company does not have positive sales growth as you can see here. That's why you got to be a little bit careful, buy slowly, uh, don't be in a, in a hurry to buy a lot. And stock has been doing okay, nicely I would say, 102% uh, in one year, down 37%. That's why it's okay to buy slowly and hold a nice position. L brand, L brand is a rocket ship as you can see here. I think this company has done great. But uh, as you scan through here, RSI 63, you got to be a little bit cautious, buy slowly, buy on the down days. Stock has done so great. I would, um, I would not want to buy at this top here. It's at 52 week high at this time. I would wait, wait for a small pullback. Next is Coinbase. Coinbase has done you know, not so great as you can see. Stock has been uh, down since IPO. As you see here, insiders are selling, institutions are buying nicely. You know, I would buy this company on this weakness here. As, you know, crypto makes a comeback, this company will do well. You know, I use their platform to, you know, buy and sell crypto once in a while. And I think it's a great platform. I would, uh, I would think this company will do well. I would buy into this weakness. Right now, RSI is 43. That tells you stock is oversold. And stock has not done great, 48% uh, down from 52 week high. Then we got Seagate here. Seagate is one of the old companies. They're into various uh, you know, computer uh, components like memory and hard disk and whatnot. You know, stock has been doing okay. I think it's done nicely. Right now there is some uh, temporary pullback. It's trying to go up at this point. RSI is 45, it's okay to buy. Sales growth is not great, that's why companies are wondering what to do. And nice uh, uh, gross margin, 27%, not great, but it's okay. And debt to equity is 10.6. That tells you um, companies got a lot of debt on their balance sheet. It may be okay right now, but as interest rates raise, it will be a burden on the company. So I would buy slowly um, and uh, buy it on down days. Stock has been doing great off late. I would uh, wait for a small pullback and then buy. Next, we got a couple more here. Um, CRSR, Corsair, one of the video uh, gaming equipment company. Great company. Stock has been uh, flatlining off late, as you can see here, or a little bit down, as you can see. Inside as a selling could be um, many reasons. But as you scan through here, RSI is 39 tells you stock is oversold. Stock has not done great as you see here down 43%, showing some strength in one week. Now, this company is up, up against companies like Logitech as an example and several other companies. I would uh, buy slowly. I think this company will do well. A lot of the gamers love this company's equipments, uh, mice and you know various video gaming equipments. I think it's okay to buy slowly and hold a nice position. As you can see here, RSI 39 tells you it's completely oversold. It's okay to buy. And quarter over quarter sales growth is positive. I like the sales growth here. I think they will do okay. And also they got nice uh, gross margin. And then we got Harpoon. Harpoon, as you see here, has done okay, but came down drastically right now, 11.49. So at this point, I think uh, it's okay to buy RSI uh, 27. They got nice sales growth, as you can see here. Stock has done nothing. Um, it's uh, down 54%, showing some progress in one day. It's positive. I would buy some Harpoon slowly into this weakness and uh, take it from there. Then we got Wuzi, V-U-Z-I. As you see here, nice looking chart. Off late stock has been dropping off as you see here. And look at the RSI 36, tells you oversold. Nice sales growth, I love this sales growth, 33%, 160%. Little bit expensive from a price to sales ratio perspective. As you scan through here, nice gross margin, 21%. Stock is, um, you know, down for one day, but did very nice for one year. I would buy this into this weakness slowly and take it from there. Then we got SYY, uh, Cisco with the food kind, not the internet company. I think this company has been doing great. Um, right now, stock is dropping off a little bit. 
Um, mainly it's a little bit tougher comparison compared to last uh, year. Um, I would uh, look at this company here, RSI is 42. Sales growth is negative as you can see here in quarter over quarter. Stock has been dropping off, has done 33%. I would buy this company into weakness. I've seen this company. Uh, it's a great steady eddy type company. Don't expect, you know, quick profit, but it's a good company overall. It will do nicely over the long term. Then you got Doximity. Doximity is in recent IPO, as you might be knowing. A little bit pricey from a price to sales ratio perspective. A quarter over quarter sales growth is negative. A lot of the doctors like to use uh, this platform. One way to think about this is really it's a collaboration platform uh, for doctors to interact with each other. I think it's going to do well. They are also they also have you know digital um, you know telehealth type things going forward. I think it's a great company. Uh, if you don't have a position, wait for a little bit down day and buy some of this stock and hold it for a while. Sixty dollar stock, not too expensive. You could uh, buy some and hold it and take it from there. Then we got Ping. Ping, you know, stock has done great in the past, but off late, you know, a lot of competition with the uh, companies like SailPoint and also Okta. Um, I, I would uh, be cautioned a little bit. You know, I don't know how they can compete effectively with these bigger competitors like SailPoint and Okta. If you want to buy, if you're a contrarian, you could buy some, you know, when it's down. But I don't expect, uh, you know, two uh, great things about this company unless somebody buys this buys this company. Uh, we got some over here. We got Zoom. Zoom, I think right now they're doing right things. Uh, they bought uh, a collaboration company, um, cloud, um, uh, cloud-based collaboration company a while ago. I think this one is a good one to buy into this uh, current weakness here. RSI is uh, 46 that tells you you're okay to buy. Stock has done 43% uh, so far this year, 39% down. So I would uh, buy this company into this weakness. It's a great company. We got Eric um, at the top. I think he will. the company will do well. I've got ATUS. Uh, stock is kind of in the trading range right now. RSI is 53 and um, you know, the Sales growth is not great, as you can see here, 1%, um, down 10%. I would buy slowly into this weakness um, and take it from there. We got Spice, um, Virgin Galactic. Uh, stock is, is a ro roller, roller coaster, as you can see here, up, down, up, down. Now it's down. I love to buy companies like this on this uh, downturn here and accumulate a nice position. This company will do well. Richard Branson will always make some splash and he's very resourceful. He knows how, how to take the stock up. Uh, RSI is 40 that tells you Virgin Galactic is oversold at this time. It's okay to buy some. Go to Occidental Petroleum. Uh, it's a $26 stock. As you see here, um, RSI is uh, 42. It's okay to buy some and hold it for a while with the oil coming back this company can do okay a little bit high on the debt to equity ratio a lot of debt on their balance sheet then we got cloudflare one of my favorite companies um, great stock i would wait for a small pullback it's uh, up two percent over 20 52 week high and it's a it's a great stock for me i've been buying this while ago it's done very nicely nice uptrend here you know, I would wait for a small pullback and add, add to my position. Then we got FISV, Fiserv. Uh, I think stock has been depressed here. Uh, RSI is uh, 56. That tells you it's uh, buy cautiously. Uh, don't need to buy a lot. But uh, down 12% from 52-week high. Great company. I love this company. Steady Eddy in the fintech area. Uh, next, we'll uh, look at... Uh, um, I think we are done here. Thank you very much. Um, happy investing and trading. Please subscribe. Thank you.